I think, I think the thing that I'm probably most proud of was it was was I thought the um, I thought the way they came out after the second half. I told them the team that maybe I, I first knew would have been up 30 to seven and would have relaxed. And I challenged them, you know, a we have to build a competitive stand on to play for 60 minutes, and b you have to love your teammates enough to get all those. The best part of that was seeing all those kids at the end getting, you know, a guy like Maverick Noonan have a tackle for loss who missed a whole year with a knee injury or. The guys who walk on, the guys who are on the scout team have a chance to play. So that, that to me was, you know, I want to be walking around the building a little bit more, you know, a little bit more uh, um, vim and vigor because they had a chance to play. So that was awesome. Uh, there's a lot of good things in the game, obviously. There's a lot of things we had to clean up. One drive exposed us a little bit, you know, just the tempo. They do such a great job with their tempo and they're aggressive. I really like their team. Um, you know, we wanted to give all of our guys a chance to play, but, you know, didn't, didn't want to embarrass him, wanted to give Jalen, you know, Graham's had a chance to throw the ball some. And, um, you know, they competed to the end. I really like their team. But uh, happy with our guys to come away with the win and get all those guys in the game. So I doubt any questions. I know it's the first game and, and you haven't had a chance to watch the tape, but it's your general impression of the way that Dylan not only threw the ball but managed key moments in the first half. There was some good and there was some bad, right? So, like, the, the best one was, the, like, he, he, he threw a checked. He, he threw a checked a long run by Emmett, right? Like, he checked it, and they kind of moved, and he checked it back. Um, and so then he checked again and got us to that run. So like, we have a freshman that's checking and reloading things. A, that's a, that's an unbelievable job by Sat, putting those kinds of things in. Great job by Glenn teaching it. Great job by Dylan learning it. And then also all the other, the O-line and all those guys may be on the right call. There were some other things, like there was a third and two where he heard RPO, the receivers didn't. You know, So there were some of those moments, right? I thought I thought the biggest thing was you know we were, I think uh, until that last one we were like 11 of 16 on, on third down we think probably finished 11 of 17 on third down a lot of those were runs late in the game but I think we had some really big third down conversions and then you know I, I told you I told you guys I think sometimes people think maybe I say things and I don't really mean it sometimes because you know I say a lot of things but like with eight seconds left in a timeout to take a shot in the end zone right that is saying that we're, we're going to play the way we want to play someday and I didn't call a timeout and say hey now remember <laughs> Get it up, get it down, and he took a shot, and boom. I mean, so we, we were, I was really happy with that. So I thought for our first game for Dylan, a lot of great things. I think there's a lot of things we have to clean up as a staff, and um, you know, we will. Isaiah Moore is a guy who's waited a couple of years to be on a college football field himself. What can you say about Isaiah? Did he ended up with 121 or something? Like that? No, he did. I'm so happy for him. Yeah, I thought that, you know, big, big time. Big time catch, you know, down the sideline for that long ball. You know, we also had a lot of pass interferences, right, where we were we extended drives by taking shots down the field. Um, and they worked the middle of the field too. You know, some big catches on RPOs going up. He was not afraid to go up and extend it across the middle. I thought really we got a contribution from pretty much everyone. You know, um, big big third down by Bonner, big third down by Nayor, then the, then the shot to Banks at the end. So really happy for Isaiah. Um, you know, he, he does everything right for us. You know. Um, we got him. Mitch had known him. Mitch Tillinsky had known him in Texas. He was a great guy. He's been a great addition. And um, you know that receiving core, there was, there was no jealousy out there today. It was a, just an amazing vibe from those guys. Hey, what did you think about that safety that kind of turned the game? The game seven seven, and that was a huge play in the game. Yeah, you know, I mean, we worked so hard on not fumbling the ball, and we talked all week about hey, they're going to tackle us low, and so for us to put that ball on the ground on the four yard line. And um, I went out to the defensive huddle and I tried to say something. Marquise was like, man, we know what we're doing. We've been here before. Like, he was, they were excited to play. And um, um, you saw them. I mean, I don't, even know, I don't even know how that will happen. I, you know, I didn't see, you know, I didn't see exactly what happened. I just saw guys playing really hard and fast on defense. And so um, that was great because it was such complimentary football because I think they kicked it to us. You know, Jacory had a decent return. Um, and then we went down to court, right? So that was a nine-point swing. And that, that's kind of... That's kind of, you know, we want to go on runs. We want to score, stop somebody, get the ball back with good field position to score, or kind of like that, and, and that, that happened there. Matt, you had uh, 33 carries across those four running backs. What did you learn about that group today? But they all made plays. You know, the thing, the shame of it with Dante, you know, had that fumble, but he was really running well. You know, Dante's done such a good job. Like, at the end of the spring, I would probably put him at fourth, right? And he's really brought himself, or I think he was the first, he was the second back in the game today. And... You know, it's not really like, hey, this guy's Ramirez went first. You know, it's kind of like, hey, Ramirez and Emmett did the same thing. So it's kind of, you know, a little different thing. But Dante, I thought he was really playing well, running the ball well, and then uh, had that fumble, right? But uh, happy to see him come back. So um, Gabe, you know, showed some really good plays. Emmett with the long run. Uh, Ramirez, I thought he ran hard. And so I was pleased with the whole group. And Maurice got in there and, and played well, too. So. And what about the uh, offensive line, uh, Dylan enjoyed a clean pocket for most of the day and also um, how they helped in the run. 
Yeah, I mean, I, you know, I, I don't want to be finished with rushing, but, you know, I mean, we, uh, I think it's, uh, uh, what is it? We finished with 507 yards, but it's 223 yards rushing. I mean, um, I thought I thought they were clean. You know, this is a team that blitzes a lot. You know, they, we gave up one sack where, you know, Dylan had to come out. And we got big beat on a late twist, and Dylan signaled something. The receiver didn't get it. That's one of those things going back to, you know, we have to be cleaner at me. When you play, you get into Big Ten play, you know, you can't have missed signals. So we have to improve. But, um, had that ball gone out, I think we'd have come away from the day with no sacks. I mean, really, again, those third and 12s, even though know, we had that, that unfortunate OPI, he moved us back. It was like second and 17 or third and 17. We hit two plays in a row. I thought the old line gave great, great, great protection. And our backs do a good job of shipping, which is really good. How beneficial was it just to be at home today in this type of setting compared to maybe a year ago? You had to open on the road on a Thursday night, sold out, just to kind of build this team the way you want to build it this year. Well, I think, first of all, I'll say this. It's a, I mean, there's not many places in the country where people stay that stay for the whole game the way our stands do. I mean, it's unbelievable, right? Like, usually at the end of the game, you can kind of yell out, like, hey, you know, run it, give it to so-and-so, run it. And we're still having to use the headset. I mean, I, if you notice in the game, I started off with a single. You probably didn't notice, but I started off with a single, and I had to go to a double earphone today. It was so loud on the field. It was so loud. It's loud on offense. You know, like, you put Heinrich in, and everyone got real loud. And I'm kind of like, I'm doing the old, hey, be quiet, be quiet. But, um, uh, you know, but it was great. It was great to have that atmosphere and have that crowd. When you're at home, you have all those kids that can get in the game. Last year was really tough. You know, I talk, talked a lot about that, but you know, last year's now kind of over. So we got a chance to start at home. We got off to a good start. You know, coming in, you know, some of the older guys were really happy. They were saying they had never really experienced that kind of a game where the game was over at halftime, really, and it was, you know, they're watching all their young guys get in. They hadn't really, I, maybe they had, I don't know, but they, they said they hadn't had it. They certainly didn't have that last year. And this game last year, Louisiana Tech was, what, 2014 or – so um, it's good to see them you know, put it away. 0 oh, for 2 on fourth down. What's the biggest thing to fix? <laughs> sorry. Wait. Yeah. I, I didn't hear no, no, sorry, sorry. 0 uh, oh, for 2 on fourth down. What was the, the biggest thing to fix going into Colorado? 0 uh, oh, for 2 on fourth down? Yeah. That's what oh, well, we had a couple, I think, that, that yeah. we got by penalty. So, yeah. uh, no, I think, I, I think we're going to go for on fourth. I mean, the last one was, you know, at the end, where we don't want to, you know, we have the 13 guys out there. But there's a lot of things that we have to fix before Colorado. Um, you know, uh, there's a lot of things we have to fix before the Big Ten play. You can run the way. This is game one. You make your biggest jump, you know, before from game one to game two. So I just felt like with our team, we just really needed to play. Like, we needed to get out there and play, see what it looked like, see what was good, see what was bad. Now we can go back and fix it. Like, um, but I just did a nice job on the punt returns. I thought Ja'Cory was dynamic on the kick returns. So, you know, you say, oh, you know, I thought we got close to maybe blocking a punt, you know. So, there's a lot of things, though, that I, I can go back now and say, okay, let's fix this. That's what I'm saying. I'll say, I'm sorry, I didn't say this. That's what I thought was really important at the end. Like, I, at the end, you don't want to embarrass the opponent, and I, they're so competitive. But I thought it was really good we at least got to kick a field goal. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, we've talked so much about kicking. To kick a field goal, I think, was really important for us. Sorry. You, you had spent basically nine months trying to retool the offense, and Dylan's a big part of that. But the picture that you saw today, was that maybe the first step that you were hoping to see going into the game, the way that they played and the yards that they gained and the points they scored? Yeah, you know, um, yeah, we're a lot, we're a lot, I mean, we're better than we were, right? And so, uh, you know, even the, even the, the crew that was here, they said, hey, what do you want to see on offense? So the last time you called one of our games, you called us a disgrace on offense. So, and <laughs> they were kind of like, oh, we don't need that. I said, no, no, we were. Like, I don't take that offense. Like, that's where we were. The thing I didn't do was overreact. I didn't, you know, fire sat and fire everybody. So, it will get a little bit better. And now you're out there, you know, you, you see, you see guys making plays. You see the O-line block. It's tight end. I mean, our tight end play today was excellent. You know, they had some catches, but they had a lot, a lot of key blocks. So, um, you know, our check game, the ability to, you know, check runs was so much better. Um, so, yeah, I just, think we're, I just think we're better than we were. And uh, we're going to continue to get better. And, you know, the guys like Ja'Cory add a dynamic element. You know, not one of those plays got called back, but that would have been a dynamic play. The, the big receivers made some plays. So, we're just better, and but we have to get a lot better <laughs> moving forward. I yeah, I'm just thinking, what, what is plus one on the turnover margin mean today? After yeah, let me ask you this. Do they count the safety as a turnover? No. Uh, they, they, they should. I'm like, doing <laughs> that seems like a turnover, does it not? I mean, I, I was sitting there because we were minus one, and then we did that, and I was like, okay, we're even right now. But um, yeah, you know, and I was happy for Ramirez. You're talking about a kid that I did not spring to camp. Okay, did not bring to camp, and oh, over, really over his body weight, right? And even in pregame today, he said to me, he said, hey, I'm 205, you know, which is what I told him. I said, if you're 205, you can play. 206, can't play, right? Which is funny, me, you know, I got me, me fighting with guys about their body weight, like. Right? <laughs> that's a hot call in the kettle flag, but, um, but uh, you know, but he made a play. He's a really good football player, and so I was so happy to see that. I mean, uh, you know, uh, who else had one? Uh, Malcolm had one, you know. So I mean, um, 
you know, that, that was good. You know, to be plus one. I, and it's not like, sometimes you guys have heard me say plus seven. What I really would like to do is be like plus one, plus two every game. <laughs> you know, I don't want to have like, hey, we got seven in one game and that skews the numbers. I just want to come out every game plus because, you know, a lot of these games are going to come down to the last possession. You can steal a possession and have a chance. And I think the safety is a way of stealing possession. How well, more important was it to reward these guys with a win? You, know, you worked so hard, obviously, and you got the you actually got to reap the fruits of your labor. Yeah, they, but you know they had to they had to reward themselves. Like they had to go do it, right? And so, um, I feel like you know I feel like uh, um, I just there was such energy today in the meetings and the walkthroughs. This has been a great week of practice. There was so much energy about playing, and then again the challenge at halftime to come out in the second half, and then. They came out in the second half, and I thought they played, right? And so, you know, I made a comment about all the fans who stayed to the very end. But, you know, I thought our guys played hard to the very end. And I thought their team played hard in the very end. I mean, I really respect that, you know. And so it wasn't one of those, sometimes you get those games right, and everyone starts throwing punches, and it gets chippy and ugly. And that was two teams that respected each other. So that's what Nebraska football is about for me, and it was, it was good to be a part of it. But I'm happy for our guys. You know, one of them I told them, I said, I, I don't, you know, I'll always say, well, I'm, I don't care about next week's game yet. I'm gonna wake up tomorrow morning. I'm gonna enjoy this. This was this was hard to do, and they worked really hard to get there. We'll wake up tomorrow and we'll start it all over again. Okay. Thanks, guys.